What's going on everybody? Black Dragon Rider here. It's a really nice day. Monday and I'm just heading out to do some few shopping. That's a really nice day. Really nice day. Woo! Anyway, I actually sort out my insurance for for Rex. And uh, I have to turn around and say that I'm, I'm actually glad that someone understands the situation that I'm I'm actually going but at the same time I was a little bit peed off when they asked me to um, to pay 40 is it 48 pounds because they said that I missed the payment well I haven't missed the payment if you guys can remember that my insurance company took some money out of my bank obviously every month they took the money out of my bank account and then for some reason they put the money back into my account so i actually thought my insurance is paid i can go and get some other stuff and, and do some shopping for some food and when i was going out when i was going out I actually seen a letter of my name, so I thought, okay, well, what is this? And I opened it, it was my insurance company, and it says that I missed a payment. I was like, I missed a payment? I'm just like, bollocks. I didn't miss a payment. So, the first thing I did, really, is go, go out and do my shopping, and then call the ins in company up. So I called my insurance company, told them about, about it, and they said that, um, no, 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 that's not what I did first. I went to the bank, I went to the bank, because I did a video of me going to the bank. I went to the bank first, because I was trying to find out what the hell they're talking about, because I had the money in my bank account. And obviously you know the rest, and if you guys don't know the rest, then, um, Apparently they took the money out and they put the money back in. My insurance company like blamed the bank, playing the blame game. And I said to them, I says, no, it's not the bank, it's it's you. You're you're the one who took the money out. I say you're the one who took the money out and you put the money back in and they're trying to blame the bank. Because it did say on the on the paper that they returned it. So basically, she was trying to get me to pay the £48, but um, I was like, no, I'm not, pay I'm not paying for that, I'm not paying £48, yeah, and also, as well, that they put a charge on top of it, I'm like, no, I'm not paying that, I am not paying for that, I says, at the moment, I says, I've got no food in my fridge or freezer. And yes, I have no food in, in my fridge and freezer. So my, I told her that my fridge and freezer is as empty and I'm not paying, you know, 20, I mean, 48 pounds for just because that you guys took the money out of my bank account I just told them that I'm not I'm not paying it. I said that was your fault and you what and basically you gonna going to blame blame me for your mistake. I went no, I can't for that. So if you try to went no. I said I refuse and I said if you want me to send you the bank statement again because because I actually really did I will send you the bank statement and, says, and also as well I got charged for my bank £10 and £10 is a lot for me because if you're not working you need to make sure that you got to buy the right stuff especially food as well some people say £10 is nothing well to you it's nothing but to me it is 
So I've got, I said to her, listen, I've got no food in my fridge and freezer. I says, I am struggling. I am not paying £48 and something pounds. I says, no. Nope. I said, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pay for that. And I said, I'm not paying for your mistakes. And because that, um, I had no food in my fish and freezer, and the woman completely understand the situation because she's been in that situation before. She says she will talk to talk to a manager. I thought, thank you, thank you for understanding what I'm actually going through. She talked to her manager and says, don't worry. We just paid us twenty-eight pounds and something pounds a month, and you know you're not going to get charged. And I thought, fine, thank you very much. I'm glad that you understand. Thank you. Because it's, it's freaking crazy. They want me to pay for their mistakes, but then this is the reason why. I don't like direct debit. I don't like direct, de direct debit. It's just, oh, I don't like it whatsoever. Really do not like direct debit. I really despise direct debit. I mean, I'd rather be the old fashioned guy going into the post office, pay it in the post office, I'd rather do that pay it in the post office when I got the money when I got the money, I'd rather just pay it you know, even if a family member is giving me, say, freaking 60 pounds if they give me 60 pounds, I will go to the post office and pay for my my insurance and just get it out of the way and that's what I do. If I've got something I need to pay, I'll rather pay it. I don't like waiting the days that the money comes out. Because it, to me, it'd be easier for me if I just go into the post office and just pay it that way. Okay, some people like direct debit, but I don't. <laughs> I, I just don't like it. If I've got the money, just pay, just pay it right there and then. Or go online and, and pay it online because the problem is with some companies that if you don't pay it with direct debit they're like oh we have to charge you five pounds you get charged five pounds and then make it sound like oh yeah you just saved five pounds no you didn't you just freaking charge me you lying cunt like try to try to lie that oh yeah you just save five pound by um going in you know sign up for direct debit you know bitch you lie too much they always try to get enough money off you but charging 20 pounds bloody hell i can get myself a lot of food for 20 pounds so what i'm going to do is try to change the date on direct debits so remember i asked my mobile phone company if i could change the date this time says no you gotta pay it on that day i was like what Well, fuck you too. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. Um, pretty much, I got nothing much to say about um, about uh, the story about my insurance. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll speak to you all soon. Like a stranger said you see me later, but you never call back. I've been getting faded, running out of patience, but I know it's alright. I'll just keep on waiting till you come ride with me.